retro toy lovers stay tuned you're gonna love this one I've just done a really cool swap some personal collection items for personal collection items Ian the master of pieces part-time eBay reseller shout out David mate I'm so pleased with that swap and I can't wait to show you guys later on but the swap has brought us over to Bridge End and while we're here we might as well hit those charity shops to see if we can find some bits to resell on eBay remember last week I found that signed David Attenborough book well look in the window here Bill Bryson signed copy for a fiver and down there David Walliams signed copy for a fiver you've got to get it you just you just have to I've never seen this game before Incredible Hulk smash MB games in the corner looks like there's lots of small pieces so it might not be complete ah they are yeah he built loads of skyscrapers some Hulk fists two quid souls are pretty decent only two listed on eBay, two sold on eBay. So self rate's pretty solid too. Sign books in the charity shop again. But pretty cheap too, really. Pretty well-known authors. They're not gonna be as popular as what David Attenborough is. But even so, to the right collector, they're still gonna be pretty desirable. Now the condition of the books themselves aren't the best, but at a five reach, I'm always gonna take a pun. Sony stack system here, record player on top. Amp, cassette, CD, and speakers. What are we saying? 125 quid. I mean, there's actually probably profit in that if you were to split it all out. So it's got the leads on the back. Ah, can you split it all out? It looks like it's all one big piece. Nah. Oh, they, well, there's a remote up there. Nah, we, we, we're gonna leave it. Yeah. This game is an absolute classic. Tyco Domino Rally with the Rocket. I used to have this when I was younger. I've sold it actually just before Christmas for about 15 quid. Chances are it's incomplete. Four quid. There's just not enough profit. I bought it for the nostalgia. I set it up, had a little go with it, sold it on. Great to see it out in the shops. This could be a little find here. Look at these. They're a pair of Nike Air Max Ivos. UK size 5 and they've put them in the children's section. £3.50. Pretty worn on the front, aren't they? But I think I could scrub them up, make them look a bit more presentable. And there'd be a bit of profit in there. Ah, looks like you found your first finds of the day in the toy box. What did you find? Slap Will and Slap Chimpanzee. Wicked. So, how could you tell they were Schleck? Okay, on the so yep, yeah, Schleck logo on the back and also the little Schleck logo on the foot there. Lovely little find. And what else did you find? A transformer. It looks like a transformer. I think these are called anamorphs. So really weird. There it is there. There's his head there. In the 50p box, we'll get it. And there's a couple of other animorphs there these don't look to be complete but for 50p each they'll bundle up well this is a sad toy box this is where toys look to go to die look we found a couple of broken transformers this is jazz tons of bits missing but this one looks near complete all that's missing is his arm Let's see if we can find it what's that there result check that out I will have a look on Google Lens to see if there's any weapons. There should be, be weapons. We'll have a look in the box for those. Result. There's the shield. No way. There's the gun. So just a little rummage in that box and we've built a 95% Power of the Primes Nova Star. It's missing a little plastic clip on the top of that shield there. But apart from that, Brilliant find. Oh, up, don't speak too soon. There it is. 100% complete. So after all that, as well as the transformer, I've managed to put together all of these. At the back here, we've got three anamorphers and I use Google Lens to work out which small pieces were needed to complete each one. This rat thing, for example, was missing the tail, found that in the box. And these have got these kind of claw gloves on them. All of them, loose in the box, managed to find them. That'll make a nice bundle. 
And then we also found this one. This is an original Beast Wars cheetah. The head was missing in the box, so I found that one. And the tail was, was loose in the box too. What I am missing, there should be a little breast piece down there with a gun on it. That was nowhere to be found. But still, a 50p each, nice little find. What have you found there? It's a Betty Bear. What you do is you stick them in the microwave and they warm up. They're really nice to cuddle. Now I've actually sold some of these before. Going rate, about 15 quid all in. Pair of predators in the basket there. They are children's size and obviously they have been worn, but with predators, still a very good brand. Kids need boots for school. Stick them through the wash. They should come up pretty good. And for a pound a pair, we'll definitely be getting those. Oh sweet, look at that in the cabinet. Official PS2 memory card. I need one of them for mine. Two quid. And some other bits I found that I didn't show you. A Schleck elephant with a tag on there. A few scratches on his ears, but that was only a pound. This is a little bolo. Better Core Saul. Brand new and sealed. The complete series. Only three quid. That is a 50 quid DVD box set right there. These are decent. A pair of Timbaland roll tops. Navy colour. They have been worn and they have been worn a lot. You can see at the back there. But generally, yeah, there's a few little scuffs on the front there. A little bit dirty around the edges, but still a heck of a lot of life in them. These were eight quid. They're size nine and a half, my size, so I will be keeping these. But there'd be about 20 quid profit in there if I decided to sell them on. Now these next two pair of shoes I found a couple of days ago in the charity shop, put them on my Instagram account, and there's been a lot of comments and a fair bit of interest. Check these. These Nike Air Maxes are an awful color. White, green, and pink. They look absolutely horrific. UK size nine. Pretty worn on the bottom, to be fair, particularly around the back. If I could pull them off, I would probably keep them but they were only three quid. Soles for other way out there color schemes. You're looking at about 50 to 60 quid for those. And then I also found this pair of Nike Vapormax 360s from 2020. They got really cool bottoms to them, look. All those like air pockets there. Yeah, they are a bit scuffed again around the back, but not as worn as the white ones. Three quid again. These ones aren't my size. They're a bit smaller, size seven and a half. Pretty cool looking shoe if you're into this style. Should be bringing in a bit of profit. So some pretty cool finds in the charity shop today, but today wasn't actually about charity shopping. The reason I went to Bridge End was to make this swap with David. And David, thanks ever so much. I am over the moon with all of this. And this wasn't a swap to make profit. It wasn't anything like that. It's just things from my personal collection that David really wanted. David had some bits from his personal collection that I really wanted. Straight swap, both happy. And some of these are gonna look great up on the shelf, firstly. And I've actually had one of these before. Sold it, instantly regretted, and I'm just glad to have the opportunity to have them again. From 1994, we've got this Street Sharks Ripster hand puppet. Menacing teeth, little bit battle damaged around his nose and, and on his tongue, but that adds to the appeal in my eyes. Really cool toy, and I do have a little Street Shark toy collection on the go down there, which I'm looking to grow. This is gonna be the start of that growth. But I didn't only just get one of them. We've got two of them. This one is in near perfect condition. Few little scuffs and scrapes on the back, but displaying him like that, he looks immaculate. And as well as Ripster, We've got streets. He's the one with the purple streaks on his arms and his fin. I've never seen this one before out in the wild. So it's a privilege to be able to add this to my collection. But that's not it. It's not just about street sharks. This is a little grail for me and I've been looking for one of these for ages. It's really hard to find them unboxed, but to find them in the box and the box in such good condition, this is something special. From 1987, we have got Dwork the Boglin. He's got glow in the dark eyes and the eye movement you can just about see there. Absolutely fantastic. Let's take him out of the box. What you find with these is often these little antenna are ripped off. There's little cracks that start to form in these joints here. And the tail, I don't know what it is. It just looks very chewable. 
This, yeah, it's a bit dusty, but that's because it's been displayed. It's a great example of one of the original Boglins. Now, I actually used to have the blue one. And on the back of the box, there's the three different types there. I had that one, Blob, as well as some of those smaller ones down there. But the box I used to have was absolutely decked. Yeah, this has got a little bit of sun fading on it. But it's all intact, no rips, and it's got that plastic steel cage on the front. And although I do always keep an eye out for toys like this, this is the first time I've ever seen one. So David, thanks ever so much for giving me the opportunity to add this to my collection. It's Retro Game Mail Day. Over the past week I've been really focusing on rebuilding the collection. For the N64, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Diddy Kong Racing, what a game, and Turok 2. And then the Mega Drive games. World Cup 94, the hours, the hours I've spent on that. Double Dragon, cartridge is battered, but it plays really well. The music on that is class. Michael Jackson, Moonwalker. Sonic and Knuckles, one of my favorite games out of all of them. And I bought this collection because Gunstar Heroes. That on its own is a really rare game. I bought it as part of this collection just to keep the cost down. That is a seriously good game. Altered Beast as well, that's awesome. And then while the boys are playing. Spider-Man. Let's run through some eBay sales. First up, look at this. This is a retired Lego Ninjago monster truck. Big skull on the face, flames coming out the exhaust there. The truck itself, 100% complete. I've got both instruction books, although the second one's missing the cover, but I've only got two of the minifigures. There should be more that comes with this set. So obviously I can't sell this as 100% complete, but I could still aim at the higher price point because the majority of it is complete. It's taken a while to shift, but that's gone for £40 plus postage and it's going global shipping over to Finland. And while we're on the theme of Monster Treks, I sold two of these Monster Jam Monster Treks. Now I picked up 40 of them for 70 quid, something like that. I've got a lot of them to go through. It's the type of listing that I need to sit down, get my head into Monster Truck mode and just crash them all out in one go. I've had an initial sift, I've picked out some of the higher value ones, listed those individually. The rest of them I've got to sort through, perhaps make smaller bundles or just do one big job lot. I'm glad to see the first couple go. This is a Hot Wheels one, the Milk Monster. This one isn't Hot Wheels, but it's got a really cool zombie graphic with these really weird arms on the front there. Both of them, they've gone for 12 quid each. Cover your eyes. From 1988, we've got this nude Ken doll. Really good condition actually, no scratching on his face. Paid a pound at the boot sale, he has gone for nine quid. Somewhere a little bit more tasteful. We've got a Monster High doll, Spectra Von the Geist, plenty of accessories, missing the shoes. That one's gone for 12 quid all in. This is a random one. I've got this Donald the Duck flask. Don't really know how to spruce this up for you, but I got this in a big bundle of stuff from Connor. Saw that it had a little bit of value. There'd be a collector out there who is gonna want this. Sold for a tenner, all in. This is a cute little Pokemon Teddy. This is new, much cuter than the Build-A-Bear ones I've been selling. This is a Tomy one. Not as valuable as the Build-A-Bear ones though. And this isn't in the best condition. I've got a feeling the tail was meant to be stitched on like that. Because there's loose stitches there and a little hole at the end there. I knocked a couple of quid off for that. Easily fixable. Muse gone for 10 quid all in. Here's what's sold on the weekend. First up from 1989. Mousetrap. And we had this exact same one. This exact same box growing up. Really strange theme for a game though, isn't it? You've got this big contraption in the middle. You've got to get your mouse round to the end and be caught by it all. Awesome, but it works. Now when you find these, there's usually a couple of bits missing. The ball bearings go missing and there's a little elastic band that goes right on the little starting piece there. This, by some miracle, had it all in. Paid three quid, that's gone for just under 20 pounds all in. I sold the CD unit from that Technic stack system. I had to describe this one very carefully in the description. When you turn it on, this lights up here, but it only stays lit up for about 10 seconds. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that or not. It still plays the CDs well, and that's gone for just under 30 quid. Now this should have been the last piece of the stack system, but I do have a return coming. It's the dual cassette player. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with the guy's other sound system pieces, 
Those aren't Technics and he couldn't get the cassette stack to work with it all. Next up we got Jesse from Toy Story. Now this isn't one of the top end ones. The better quality ones have actual wool for her hair, but pull the cord. Hey, what do you say we saddle up for some fun? Tested and working. Got the hat, that's always a good thing to look out for. But she's absolutely filthy, look. Like, how does that actually happen? I mean, she's had a hard life and that has really hampered the price. Paid a couple of quid for her, she's gone for £7.50 plus postage. It doesn't matter what Thomas the Tank toy type you're looking at, always look out for Caitlin. This maroon colour tender train, this is a die cast one, that there has gone for just under 12 quid all in. Another 12 quid sale. Monster Jam, Monster Trek. This one's called Blue Thunder. It's got the see-through yellow chassis on the bottom there. This one's actually in really good condition. Whenever you see these, the corners are always chipped. Not on this one. Nice to see these ticking over. And this monster truck was literally listed only for a couple of hours. Check this out. A one in 24 scale maximum destruction from 2006. It's got a metal body. Reasonable condition. Some of the stickers are peeling off there. Now there are definitely monster truck collectors out there. The solds of these mainly in America, but there's still a British fan base for them. This one hasn't sold in the last three months, but I don't know if any of these have been listed in the last three months. In order to value this, I just price matched it against similar style monster trucks of the same scale from the same era. I had it up for 35 plus postage, offer come in for 25, rejected it, offer come in for 30, I counted, meet halfway, £32.50 plus postage. And here's another item now that's sold within two hours of listing. We have got a Fisher Price Coda Pillar. Never seen one of these before and I paid a tenner for it because the solds were really strong. It's quite a cool toy actually. Put batteries in the front and then each different part of his body has got a different direction or a different action. So depending on the order you put the different body pieces in, that gives the caterpillar the different instructions to follow. Basic coding really. That has gone for just under 25 quid all in. And I'll definitely be looking out for the coder pillar again. And to finish off this week's worth of sales, here's what's sold Monday and Tuesday. First up, an old school Kenner Star Wars figure. This guy's called Forlom. Really weird looking figure. You know, he's got like a fly head, like a human body. This is going global shipping program over to Spain. Five pounds plus postage. A couple of 12 pound sales. Scale electrics car, unbranded rally car. My son found this 50p in the charity shop. Bushes are pretty warm. Tested it though. It is working. The stickers haven't been applied the best. But that's only taken about three, four weeks to sell. And another Monster Jam Monster Truck. This one's called Catitude. Look at those green wheels. Loving the graphic on the side there. It's like a zombie cat. This is a pretty cool one. I found this Lego Ninjango Wolf at the bottom of just a random toy box. It would have been about 50p, something like that. What caught my eye is it looks like a Kami off of one of the old school PlayStation games. And that wolf has gone for 10 quid all in. I sold my Nikon Coolpix digital camera. Now I got absolutely blasted in the comments when I showed you guys this because basically I wrote it off completely. In the shop I didn't check the megapixels and when I got home I looked at it and thought 3.2 megapixels. Who is going to want to buy that? Well you guys got in the comments and corrected me and rightly so. It's all complete inside and people do look out for these lower megapixel cameras because they do give you a certain image quality. And if you're looking for that retro style shot, why not do it using a retro style camera? This has hung around a little bit, but I only paid four quid for it. Sold for 35 quid, all in. Pikachu, build a bear. It's only gone for 10 quid plus postage, but as you can imagine, Pikachu would have been one of the most popular characters out there whenever this was in the build a bear shops. So I'd imagine there's a fair few of these floating around and the collectors out there probably got a Pikachu already. Still very worth picking up and I hope he finds a good home. Oh, and a sale that has just crept in last minute. I sold this Build Your Own Doctor Who Sonic Screwdriver set. Key thing to look out for. Has it got that little light up section? That really adds a lot of value to the bundle. Even without that, they still sell for a fair bit. I was lucky to find this. In fact, I didn't even know I was picking it up. I bought a ton of Lego for 100 quid. And that was in the box. Unexpected, but I'm glad it was in there. Sold for just under 40 pounds, all in. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Shout out Adam Malpass again. He's on a brace. Two first comments in a row. Will he make it a hat trick?
Also, shout out to everyone at the Polka Dot Diner down in Bridge End. Looked after me and my son today. Great food down there. And also Lex Bad Biscuit. Hope you had some finds out in Bridge End as well. Fun never stops with me. I'm actually out making a Facebook Marketplace picker. I'll show you that next video. I'm also planning to meet up with Connor the Welsh Poker Picker next Wednesday, as long as it doesn't snow again. So there'll definitely be a video next Wednesday. Might do one this weekend covering this Marketplace pickup and a few other things. So I'll see you soon.